All right, let's explore the thinking of Jacques Fresco and the society he'd like to see. The reason we emphasize machines and technology is to free man to pursue the higher things. Machines ought to do the filthy, repetitious, or the boring jobs. It would take 10 years to change the surface of the earth. If our planet had a common catastrophic threat, such as a large meteor heading toward the earth, nations would unite and call upon science and technology to solve the pending catastrophe. Border disputes would cease. Bankers, lawyers, and businessmen would be unable to solve the problem. Resources would be harnessed without cost or profit. Today we face many common threats, far beyond national boundaries. In the world today, we have enough resources to solve most human problems. We can build cities, hospitals all over the world if we use resources. But if you can script at all the money in the world, there's not enough money to build hospitals and housing all over the world and finance the education of students. But we do have enough teachers and enough buildings we can use for universities. We have the resources. Money is an interference because it limits our ability and it limits our dreams. Imagine the possibilities of an unprecedented mobilization of scientific and technical alliances toward problem solving without the interference of money or politics to initiate global unification and restoration. This could easily enable a high standard of living for all. This is what Jacques Fresco had in mind when he proposed a resource-based economy. If our planet ran out of resources, no matter how much gold or money or possessions you had, you could not survive. Our entire survival is based upon resources. Growing up in the Great Depression in the early 1930s in New York City was a catalyst for his life's work. Jacques explored many different social alternatives during that time, but all seemed insufficient. He rejected the obsolete teaching methods of the time and was granted special privileges by his principal. He read books that furthered his interest in human behavior and social change. His early research with training and observing animals led him to similar findings with people as well. He concluded the environment shapes our values, our identity, and generates our behavior. Fresco witnessed great suffering and scarcity, even though Earth was abundant with resources. He saw it was the rules of the game we play by that were at fault. Fresco grasped the necessity to develop an entirely new social design, which integrates the best of science and technology dedicated toward human and environmental concern. To accomplish this holistic approach, Fresco studied and worked in a wide range of fields, such as architecture, transportation, medicine, behavioral sciences, industrial design, and more. For most of his life, he has lectured, written books, designed and produced models and media to introduce methods that could work for all instead of only a few individuals. Sometimes when you talk about a new kind of world, it frightens people. They figure, well, gee, everything is technical. What about the human aspect? And I had to devise models and make buildings and homes to show people what kind of home they might live in in the future. I really don't know what the future will be like, but there are possible alternatives, thousands of different alternatives.
So what the Venus Project really wants is to unify all the nations of the world toward common goals such as clean air, clean water, non-contaminated food, and make that available to everyone. What is really needed is the intelligent management of the Earth's resources. A resource-based economy is based on the carrying capacity of the Earth and its resources. If you don't work in terms of existing resources, you're working in some metaphysical plane. In a resource-based economy, all resources would become the common heritage of all the world's people and access to the necessities of life would be for all the world's people. There would be no more monetary systems or trade, barter, or any other system of human servitude. A resource-based economy allows social advancement and worldwide reconstruction in the shortest time possible. Under scientific scales of performance, we can provide everybody with more than they need. I'm saying that the average person in this Venus Project will live better than the wealthiest people today.